Welcome hey. back, everyone. How's it going, everybody? I'm back from another fun and exciting underway. Um, so, we got a few, a few to taste from. A few. Yeah, a few. <laughs> a few. We have a few. You might need to redefine your definition of a few. From uh, Bootleg Hill Honey Meads out of Iowa. So, uh, a little bit about them. It's on their about page. Um, Bootleg Hill Honey Meads is a licensed winery. Uh, it's dedicated to mead of the highest quality at affordable prices. Our honey is unprocessed directly from the hive. We prefer a more natural approach with no sulfites added. However, our meads may contain naturally occurring sulfites. Our meads are made to be enjoyed or aged for years. Uh, we offer or plan to offer the following meads. Uh, the traditional meads with no additional ingredients, only honey, both semi-sweet and dry. Uh, Melomels, which is mead made with honey and fruit. Methaglin, this is actually looking more of something that might be in an episode that we do separately. Hey, you want to just pause it there? Yeah, because this is going into the different types. And we'll just pick up that part later. Yeah, we can just pick that up different. Uh, and then we'll just day. jump right into the, into the tasting. Yeah. Uh, so once you get past that, um, our new tap room at 321 East 2nd Street, Suite 200, Davenport, Iowa, uh, offers you the ability to try many different varieties of meads and mead cocktails. We also serve beer and wine. Our goal is to create the highest quality meads at affordable prices and have fun. Please remember, always drink mead responsibly. Sold hmm. through select distributors in Illinois and Iowa. Cool, cool. All right, so. so yeah, it just gives you a whole list of places where you can find them, like, locally. Yeah, if um, you're in the Davenport. Area. Right, right. So, all right. So a couple of things that they sent to us uh, in the mail was, well, I mean, obviously this is a t-shirt. Um, so they sent this to us. Uh, it says Bootleg Hill Honey Meads, Davenport, Iowa. It's got their little honeybee logo on the front. That's, that's so awesome. Kind of cool. I like it. Um, that's pretty dope. Um, and then, I think these are stickers, but I'm not sure. They look like stickers. They're oh. all kind of the same thing. Uh, Venmo Shipper. Oh, oh Vino Shopper? Or Vino Shopper, my bad. So, Vino Shopper's got it as well. Um, and that's where we get most of our means nowadays. Um, if it's not uh, Gronfell, because they kind of have their own, or some of the other ones too. Um, but actually, I think most of the ones that we get, including Gronfell, is shipped through. Yeah. Vino Shopper. I don't know if Gronfell. I, I, we'll, I think we'll they do theirs. That, I think the they comments. do theirs separately. But most of the ones that we get are through Vino Shopper, um, just because it's it's easier to find ones that will ship to Virginia and you know some of the other states. Um, but yeah, they also sent. I think, like I said, I think these are stickers. They look like stickers. Yeah, yeah they're, they're stickers. stickers. Um, they've got these nice uh, matte black and purple. And purple uh stickers um you probably can't see it that well it, it just says bootleg hill it's got their the same label that's on the the t-shirt but it's uh in purple on a on a on a black background um so that's kind of cool yeah definitely yeah anytime anybody sends us stickers we get excited <laughs> so i checked there is almost nothing describing their the flavors traditional no oh, really? no just the traditional because here it is see semi-sweet traditional and it just says the mead that started it all, our semi-sweet traditional mead. So let's roll into it. Okay. Well. And we'll we'll take pictures later. Oh yeah. And um, they also come in these awesome bottles, resealable ones. Yeah. So you don't have to drink them all at once. Um, it's a little hard to read uh, in the back there. But this is their. It's the. 321 uh, is that like their area code no that's the address oh oh okay see okay hey. makes sense now okay so it's <laughs> so 321 uh semi-sweet mead it's made in iowa it's just honey wine uh comes in at their their 500 milliliter bottles um comes in at 14 percent alcohol uh but volume um bootleg hill is a small passionate craft meadery on the banks of the mississippi river located in the quad cities 
Oh yeah, the quad. That's that's the area. There's oh, okay. four cities there. Oh okay. Hence quad yeah. four. <laughs> like four corner. <laughs> uh, founded by a homeowner or home brewer, uh, we make our meads to be enjoyed. Uh, produced and bottled by Bootleg Hill Honey Meads uh, out of Davenport, Iowa. Um, our 321 semi sweet mead is a semi sweet traditional and made in small batches by hand. The unprocessed honey directly from the hive is well balanced. Our mead is gluten free, uh, no additional sulfites added, contains only naturally occurring sulfites. Cool. So, let's do this. Yeah. And uh, if you recycle the bottle uh, in Iowa, you get like five cents. I don't think I'd recycle a bottle. Just keep no, it. Yeah, it's probably just repurpose it. Beautiful golden color, but not too not too thick looking. Just yeah. kind of a I like it. A little opaque. I like it. Yeah, it's got some nice clarity to it. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful smell. smell. That, that that honey. Yeah, and exactly. I what like you, that though. Yeah, exactly I, what I, I actually kinda like the more the less processed that the honey is, it seems like the more honey flavor you get from it. Yeah. Ooh. So you definitely it's got a nice little tinge of that alcohol there. But, yeah, it lets you know it's there, but not enough. But it's to wrapped like... with that honey. Um it's definitely on the sweeter side of the semi-sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, but it's not super sweet. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hit you in, right in the tooth and be like, oh. Yeah. I just think I really sugar, like that. Sugar. That's yeah. That's delicious. Um, that's. Yeah. Odin's with us. Yep. Well, since, um, since he's here. Yep. So if you want to go ahead and get into that one. Yep. All right. Next up, we've got the. Uh, Orange Sunshine. <coughs> it's the reserve mead with oranges. Um, so the label is a, a sun. Oh, nice. Like like the sun. Yeah, yeah. I figured. Um, I was telling you more for that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but it's like it's like a sliced orange, but it's got like the the flares like like the sun. Uh, it's just honey wine made with oranges. It also comes in at fourteen percent. Um, our orange sunshine is a well-balanced, semi-sweet traditional mead with oranges made in small batches by hand from unprocessed orange blossom honey directly from the hive. Our mead with oranges is all natural, gluten-free, no additional sulfites, contains only the natural occurring ones. Enjoy our refreshing orange sunshine any time of the year. Nice. So they're all 14% by the way. Okay. I think we ordered all of them, didn't we? I think so. Yeah, probably. Sounds like us. Yeah, it's doesn't sound like something that's that far fetched for us. No, no, definitely not. We try to it, it's it's for the viewers. We're trying to get them the, the best amount of information possible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. For sure. It's kinda of got the same color overall. I have Which a... I guess is not unexpected if it's a traditional with a I guess you'd call it like an infusion of oranges. Yeah, they're identical. Yeah. Color wise. That's pretty much the same color. I my guess is they use they just added oranges to the traditional. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's a, they said it's a it's a small batch, so but it's made with reserves. So I wonder if they use it from their traditional from the year before, maybe. Maybe we'll we'll have to get a hold of them and find out. You get a little bit of that orange there. Yeah, but it's not like it's not super orange. It's not like you just cut though. an orange and shoved it. Up yeah. Orange. A little drier, just a little a more little bitter, bit. um, but not not on the like super dry where you're like, oh, wow, no, yeah. If this is what I would I would um, imagine like a like a good perfectly balanced like semi sweet. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a dry tinge. But it's a little sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's got, it's just a naturally it's just a natural sweetness from the honey and the orange blossom. Right, right, and and that orange is. It isn't overpowering, but it accents it. Right. Ooh, that's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, that's I like that. That's good. 
All right, so how about we do the one that I knew you would like? Lemon oh, bean. lemon mead, huh? Yeah, this man is a fiend for <laughs> lemon, lemon honey and lemon whipped <laughs> and all that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, lemon mead is a well-balanced, semi-sweet traditional, uh, made in small batches. Uh, unprocessed honey directly from the hive with lemons. Uh, we'll remind you of a fresh, refreshing glass of lemonade on a warm summer day. Mm. I don't think I've really had too many. I don't think we've had one that's just been lemon. No, we haven't. We've had so we had one that was like a lemon and blueberry. Yeah, flavor, it was like I a think. blueberry lemonade or something. Like yeah, that. it was. That one was pretty good. Oh, real this clear. One's real clear. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. So, it, I mean, you can see right through it. So, comparison, there's mm. traditional. So, ooh. Mm. So, if you, uh, if you enjoy passing a bakery that's making a lemon pound cake, the smell is a it's pretty small close. town bakery making yeah. lemon pound cake. making lemon pound cake. So, I don't think I found the one that I want. Yeah. So, I'm trying to figure out how to describe that. Like, it's not overly lemon. It's not like sucking on a lemon. It It's lemon pound cake. It's not made with, like, lemon blossoms. It's lemons. They put lemons into their tradition. Oh, that's awesome. Um, it's almost like making a limoncello in a way. I guess, from what it sounds like. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, it's... That's delicious. So when, when, you, when you hear lemon, most of the time people think, oh, it's going to be bitter, it's going to be... Sour. Sour, it's going to make me... There, there's some sweetness there, and they definitely pulled that one off. Yeah, it's it's got that lemon flavor, but not the bite to it. Yeah. Which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right. Can you pull another one from the middle? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do... Ooh. Raspberry dreams? Honey wine with raspberries? Yeah. Semi sweet traditional. I feel like they use all of them. Do all of them. Yeah, semi sweet. Yep. Just for giggles. Go ahead and go ahead. Made and in small batches. Uh, bright, prominent, real red raspberry flavor yep. and aroma. Um, process, unprocessed directly from the hive. Uh, well balanced with the raspberries. Yeah, they're all. Oh, okay. So I guess, I mean, that's not unexpected. Um, I guess a lot of places, I think, do that. Oh, yeah, if you look up honey wine with raspberries. Yeah, so they just took their traditional and threw raspberries in it. Threw raspberries in it, hey, or whatever kind of flavor. What's that, what's that saying we learned, in, that we both learned in the military, uh, keep it simple? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, yeah, but, no, the kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was the other one don't nuke it yeah pretty much you're a nuke sorry cool oh. mm. definitely got that raspberry smell yeah raspberry farmer's market mm. wow so if like a raspberry not quite raspberry kool-aid yeah I, I'm getting raspberry tea. Yeah, ras like a raspberry like tea. Like a very raspberry tea. infused tea. Yeah, yeah, with with fourteen percent. Yeah, with no tea. <laughs> no um, tea, all raspberry, and fourteen percent alcohol. I like it. Yeah. Um, it kind of reminds me mm -hmm. of heading back. I'll save it. I'll save that idea. To a raspberry patch and picking mm -hmm. raspberries and, and like. Almost like a like a raspberry jam. Yeah, yeah. But not as sweet. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. So we cook that down like a boche. Mm. You use it for something and like a just ooh cheesecake. 
Ooh, yeah, a topping cook for the, cheesecake. Yeah, cook that down into a sauce for oh, a cheesecake. Oh, that cheesecake that uh, Gromfeld recommended. No, that was Four Brothers. That was Four Brothers? My bad, guys. Um, it's been a long couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, there's the, they're the ones that sent the card with it. Yeah, that's yeah. It's supposed to be, you make it, and then you eat that alongside the, um, the hand of, no, not the hand of tear. Um... It's Guardian Enchantment. Yeah, that one, yeah. The chocolate one. All right, so this one. So usually the ginger ones are a little bit much. A little too ginger. But this is a ginger orange infusion. So, of course, using the semi-sweet um, in small batches. I'm trying to find where it picks up with the ginger. Right amount of orange. And spicy ginger. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, let's give it a go. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, it's very gingery. It's got a very as yeah, it's got a very definite ginger it. smell. Sorry. Before you I'll be there. Oh, you're good. Yeah, it's uh as soon as you pop that open it's like but ginger. It, mellows out right into the orange right into the orange a little bit so I don't think this one let me just try it <laughs> mm. oh wow immediately so, I got ginger and like you know those little like orange flavored candies you can get at like Halloween yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The little orange tootsie roll things yeah I got Candy ginger wrapped in wrapped, wrapped in, in like that tootsie roll. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so we've had a few. Or so you know, like something like it. It's not gonna exact be exactly like that, but right. it's you get that kind of like idea. Yeah, we've had a few really heavy ginger. Like, ooh, all right, that is ginger alcohol. Well, and gingers, it's spicy. If you eat enough of it raw. There are people that do it. I've I've done it before. I I like candy ginger. Yeah. But if you eat it raw, it is spicy. Yeah. But it's the honey and the orange even it out. Yeah. Enough they cut that spice. Where very you well. get the flavor of the ginger, but not the bite. That is yeah. that's good. That's delicious. Oh. Mm. All right. So, survey says blue haze. So, blueberries. Yep, blueberry. So using their semi-sweet, as always, uh, adding in real blueberry flavor and aroma. Uh, uh, Unprocessed honey. Yeah, gluten-free. So if you're you just add it that, with real blueberries. So it's their semi-sweet with blueberries. Cool. Nice. Well, and because uh, gluten's a wheat product. Yeah. I think so. So I think all meat is gluten free. Yeah, we keep saying that. Maybe we, we probably need to look. It's to probably sure. I don't know, man. Like yeah. it may be something just because so many places and so many people are so sensitive to it now. Yeah, that's an interesting color. Yeah, it's kind of um, got like a. You know what it reminds me of? The rose. The rose. Beer. But I was gonna say um, grapefruit juice. Yeah. So grapefruit juice is a little bit pinker. Yeah, a little bit. I don't really get much of a blueberry smell. Yeah. It's a hint. Yeah. I'm getting just a hint of blueberry on the back end. Like it's there and gone. So, yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. It, it it's it's not overpowered it, like if you enjoy blueberry on occasion but not if King what Harold. you're looking for is a blueberry like an intense blueberry flavor it's not for you it's not gonna be there um i don't know maybe we just got a different batch that has a little bit less maybe and with and it, it's it's one of those things like not every batch is the same. They're right. all different. 
So ours may not have as much blueberry as, say, another person. Yeah. Yeah, ours, it's just a hint of blueberry at the back end. But it's it's the semi-sweet throughout and then a hint. So, I mean, it's definitely yummy. You want to grab the next oh, one? yeah. You got Delicious. three left. What do you think? We probably should have pre pre-warning this a little bit long. Yeah, we've got like eight bottles. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the, no, that's, the, this is the one we've already had. That's the, what? that's the ginger orange. Oh, I was going to sneak that one back in. <laughs> got two bottles left. Well, that one and this one. You want to finish strong with a sweet one? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. All right, so this one's called Paint It Blackberry. Nice. You know, obviously inspired by the phrase paint it black. Yeah. Um, so this one, painted blackberry is semi-sweet traditional, uh, made small batches, real blackberry flavor and aroma, unprocessed honey uh, from the hive, uh, well balanced with real blackberries. Nice. So this one I'm hoping has a lot more of that blackberry flavor. You know what I like to see? A it's almost like the blueberry color. Yeah. I like to see a meadery do a Blackberry and blueberry, and name it blue on black. Musical inspiration, you know? Yeah. I'd say uh, Silverhand, but yeah, I think they already have a blueberry blackberry one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got more of the blackberry with this one this time. Yeah, it's it's a little more there. A little more bitter. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting that. It's it's more on. So it's I got just, more of the tartness that you would find. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Tartness from like a blackberry. And it's it's delicious. I mean, I get like the blackberry flavor, but I wish it was a little bit more. Yeah, it's it's a very like a blackberry subtle. It's a it's a mead with the complement of blueberry or a blackberry. Yeah. Same with the the blueberry. It's a complement of that of that right. fruit. Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely delicious. drinkable. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, no problem having a horn of that with, uh, with a, sitting next to a fire or sitting on the front porch. Yeah. All right. Last one on our list: Cosmic Cherry. Mm. Uh, Semi sweet traditional. Uh, made with real cherry and flavor and aroma, small batch, unprocessed honey. Um, balanced with real cherries from Door County, Wisconsin. Hmm. So I guess they kind of outsource their cherries a little bit. Oh, it's a partnership. It's yeah. a it's a featuring. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Got a little bit more of that. Kind of fruit thing. Yeah. No, no, I'm used to like cherry things being like vibrantly red. Ooh. Yeah. Cherry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Straight so it's up. Actually, cherry and not like cherry blossom. Straight up nose of cherry. Mm-hmm. See? Yep. Nope. Like like cherry, not the artificial cherry flavoring or like a maraschino cherry. It's like a black, not even a black cherry, just a very ripe red cherry yeah yes I've made my pick it's mmm cherry through I got and through. like cherry pie yeah yeah it's like a cherry pie filling yeah it's it's through and through cherry mm -hmm. and you get it's like cherry Ooh, that is good cherry whisper me cherry whisper me like it's it's not a hint it's there yeah. Alright, now hand me that raspberry one. Raspberry. I had an idea. Raspberry? Oh. Alright. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say no. I figured you would. <laughs> so we're going to try to mix the raspberry with the lemon. With the lemon to see if we can't make like a lemon raspberry lemon raspberry mead so if you've never watched any of our episodes sometimes we go on tangents and this might be tangent episode number three i think it's 
think we're further along. Than Are we? <laughs> Problem is, we've we've been we've friends. done so many. We've done we've been so, so many. we've been friends for so long. Yeah, that we just like I'm not gonna lie, it went through my mind as well. So, if you happen to buy both the raspberry and the lemon, give it a go. Half a shot glass, or a full shot glass of it. I think we got more of the raspberry. But like, it's the, it's definitely, um, you know what it, I think the lemon actually brought the raspberry out more. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so um, I got like raspberry, yeah. kind of like how the cherry one was. Yeah, and then I got like a tinge of the lemon one at the end. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's so, so good. Bootleg Hill, if you or guys are watching this, very good job. Fantastic. Very, very beautiful meads. Constructive criticism here. I would like to see the berries brought out a little more, but no complaints. I mean, I yeah, no, it just just with the blackberry and the blueberry, I would like to see that that blueberry and blackberry flavor brought out a little bit more to the forefront um, instead of in the back end. Yeah. Um, because when I think blueberry and blackberry, like naturally blackberry and blueberry flavored things I want to taste that natural sweetness from the berry yeah um, and now, you know I want to have that tartness too but I want to actually taste the flavor of the blueberry and the blackberry more than just the honey right. side of it and don't get us wrong will there most likely be another order with teak and meat on it from you guys absolutely yeah duh you make good meat we're gonna order more. Yeah. <laughs> um, but overall, uh, delicious, delicious mead. Um, very good job. Yeah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, uh, brewing wise. Um, it's yeah. It's fantastic. I don't know how long they've been around. Yeah, I didn't see that part. I mean, it's, I don't think it's nah. Um, yeah, definitely keep doing what you guys are doing. Like it's, you got it, you got it figured out. Um, yeah, definitely gonna be getting more because as you guys have probably noticed, we enjoy our mead. Yeah. I think that's the main thing that's on our counter right now is mead. And it has been for the past two months, three months. Yeah, something like that. So, um, but yeah, I think that was our final thoughts. Squirrels. So that, I was just seeing if Odin had anything else he wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was our final thoughts. Yeah. You're going with the lemon, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I'm uh, I'm snagging the cherry. Tap into that cherry one over there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because uh, I'm a fan of cherry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also it's only I, like half. I love. I, I find their. I find their. Logo <laughs> very funny. It is literally a boot, a hill, and a rainbow over it. We'll do a close-up picture of it. Well, not all of them are. No, this one is. Yeah, it's underneath the sticker. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. See, see the see the placement. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, it's starting to get dark. So let's uh, kind of wrap this up. Yeah. As always, be great to one another. Drink responsibly. Skull. Skull. Yep. Oh. Oh. Delicious. Yep.